at 10 tonight, Colorado's first transgender lawmaker is standing up for equal rights after another lawmaker from Colorado Springs said he wanted to limit equal rights. He wants to limit the Equal Rights Amendment. Excuse me. Well, that limitation could affect people like Representative Brianna Titone. Our Sean Boyd first met Titone in 2018 when she was running for state rep. She's still in office and now standing up for herself and people like her. Our Olivia Young met with Representative Titone this afternoon. And Olivia, this equal rights discussion all happened on the House floor this last week. That's right, Kelly. Colorado's first transgender representative is on her third term. And Friday, she stood up for trans rights after comments made by House Republicans on the floor Thursday. I'm not going to let you walk all over me and people like me. And I'm going to speak out. Colorado's first transgender lawmaker speaking out about what she calls transphobic comments made on the House floor. I didn't really expect an ERA resolution to kind of go sideways the way that it did. Senate Joint Resolution 6. Thursday, the House discussed a resolution urging Congress to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. Republican Representative Scott Bottoms of Colorado Springs offered an amendment limiting how the ERA be interpreted. Should not be interpreted to include a right to abortion, nor to expand the definition of sex to include anything other than the originally understood distinction between biological males and females. There is such a thing as XX and XY, and no matter how much you lie to yourself and change it. And the Speaker of the House interjecting. Representative XX Bottoms, I'll, I'll ask you to be respectful. Respectful. As Titone tried to get the attention of Bottoms and other speakers. I was going like this, like, look at me, look at me, because I wanted them to see me and talk to me about it. Friday, Representative Titone taking to the House floor to respond. Whether you like it or not, I'm your colleague. Whether you believe me or people like me should exist, I do exist. Saying she felt disrespected and calling the comments dangerous. You could debate an issue, but when you start to repeat the tropes and the dangerous rhetoric that's going around, that hurts people. Now, Titone says she welcomes respectful conversations with lawmakers who disagree with her and that some of her Republican colleagues did thank her for her remarks. The amendment introduced by Bottoms did not pass, but the ERA resolution did. At the Capitol, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. Olivia, thank you so much.